Well, folks, today we're talking about Mario Day because Nintendo dropped the goods this morning, but not just Nintendo. Lego actually dropped some new Mario Lego goods yesterday. And one thing that was unexpected today, or unexpected for some of us, was the announcement of another Mario movie. That's right, we are getting another one. So we're not gonna sit here and wait for me to go through some sort of more preamble. Let's dive right into today's big news. So Nintendo dropped a nearly three minute video today to go over three big pieces of information. The primary one being that yes, there is a brand new Super Mario Brothers movie in the works. We did get one new detail for it besides the release date. That's right, they came on and told us the movie will be releasing on April 3rd, 2026. Of course, this is being said so far out that things could move around, but when movie dates like this are often announced, they do tend to come to fruition. They clearly know their workflow and how long it's gonna take. They talked about how they've been storyboarding this and coming up with new scenes and sets and all this for some time. So I do believe that they are probably on target for that and they were already beginning animation. That's what they just said, they're beginning animation so that's really cool but the one detail we did get from Shigeru Miyamoto is he noted that they will be broadening Mario's world further so I don't know what that means I don't know if they're gonna dive into maybe mishmashing into other IPs that Nintendo has or if we're gonna go to some of the outskirts of the Mario Kingdom there's a lot that could be done here obviously the first movie was I would say pretty safe in terms of where it went with the Mario and the story and everything. And maybe they're gonna end up going with a much broader expanded look at it. I don't know, but I'm pretty excited about it. And how could I not? I really loved the first movie, so much so that I bought it twice and went to the movie theater three times. So yeah, I was pretty happy with the overall last Mario movie. Illumination's the one behind this again, Illumination Paris. So I'm pretty excited about that. But that wasn't all Nintendo had. They actually dropped two more announcements that, yes, we talked about before being teased by Pioro, and that's with Thousand Year Door and Luigi's Mansion. Now we didn't get new trailers, but we did get release dates. And we now know that the Thousand Year Door is releasing on May 23rd, 2024. And yes, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD is dropping in June after all, as some people thought it might, and it's dropping on June 27th, 2024. Now again, I find this both to be just utterly amazing and fascinating and really cool. And also this clears out every game Nintendo has announced. I think that's one of the big things is all of the games that Nintendo had announced for this year now have dates. So yeah, we did got Endless Ocean coming up. That was a new announcement this year. Obviously Princess Peach Showtime. And now we now know that all of these games are coming in the first six months of this year. This clears out Nintendo's slate for the second half. Remember, right now there's no Pokemon game announced for the second half. There's no nothing from Nintendo announced for the second half of this year. This does maybe lend credence to a possible April Direct where Nintendo can start teasing things for later later in this year. We'll have to wait and see if that pans out. Again, that is still just a rumor, but I'm pretty excited that we now have dates for these. We now know what we can be expecting to play. I was a little skeptical that we would get Thousand Year in the first half of this year. I, I know for a while I've been saying, ah, it feels like a second half of the year game, but now we know Nintendo just wants to pack all the Mario in the first six months, so that's what's happening. So now the question is, what's left? I guess we'll have to wait and find out. But we do know what's left for Mario 10 Day because we also had some other brand new announcements around Mario Lego sets. And I think all of these sets look amazing and one tease for 2025 that's just really stunning. So first off, we have the Bowser's Express from Super Mario 3D World. Definitely didn't see this one coming. They've done a number of Bowser sets. I didn't think 3D World was gonna get this sort of treatment, but I'm really glad to see it get it. But that's not the only really cool Lego set they showed. They also showed off King Boo's Haunted Mansion set. It clearly has some inspiration coming from, well, Luigi's Mansion, and I really love this set. This is one that I might just buy just to have. I haven't bought any of the Mario Lego sets personally. I bought them for other people. So this might be one that I just really want to get because I love King Boo and I love the Haunted Mansion vibe. Beyond that, we do get Battle with Roy at Peach's Castle. Roy can destroy the castle. He put the castle back together. Castle looks a little bit N64 inspired, but not entirely. I think it's kind of fascinating. I really do enjoy this one. And again, I don't know if I'm gonna pick it up, but it's a firm maybe. But one that I'm very curious about, and they announced this right at the end of their announcement video, is Mario Kart Lego coming in 2025. Now, 
They don't really tease much. They show what you can see is like an outline of a basic Mario Kart. But I'm very curious how this is going to work. Is Mario Kart a racing game? Are they going to be, you know, using the motors and stuff like that we've seen from other Mario Kart, more technical sets where you can actually race around racetracks or stuff like that? Is it just going to be something that you just build Mario Karts and then you just kind of push them around? I don't know what their goal is for this because they didn't really show us. And Mario Kart's a massive massive franchise spin-off franchise for mario so very curious and also since hey we've seen link you know we've seen animal crossing and other characters in mario kart, are those guys gonna also get their own carts and do crazy things we'll have to wait and see how it all works out so uh again they only tease it's happening in 2025 not exactly what it's gonna be like now that's really all of the big Mario Day news, and we're gonna keep the video nice, short, and sweet right here. We do have a second video coming later today, uh, diving into what I think is a very interesting aspect of Nintendo Switch 2. Delay? Non-delay? I don't know, but it's a really interesting conversation inspired by somebody else that we, we're we gonna be talking about. It. It's gonna be great. But I wanted to bring you all the Mario Day celebrations first. So let me know, are you happy with Nintendo did for Mario Day? All the new announcements? And are you excited for the new Mario movie? Cause I know, I know I am. All right, folks, I'm Nintendo Robo Jazz from Nintendo Prime and I'll catch you guys in the next video.